we start to um, make the butter cream swirls and roses I just wanted to show you what I'd done with my butter cream well if you want to make a coloured butter cream and for instance you wanted to make it pink you obviously don't have to put too much in it because it's very strong what might happen if you add it to that it'll be quite um orangey red color um and the same if you say for instance you added a blue or this blue doesn't really matter um it still would be a sort of greeny color and of course it's mixing the yellow with whichever color you're going to add so um in order to help to prevent that a little bit I add something else to my buttercream is um, something called super white it's sugar flare and it's super white it's not a paste it's a powder I just open it it's just a powder you don't need too much and it will help to lighten the uh, the buttercream itself so if we put them side by side you can see this is has lightened to a, a creamier color it's not perfect white but it will help when we're going to add a colour to our buttercream. So that's the first tip. Um, the other thing, of course, is I always use gels in my cooking, in my colouring. Don't use liquid. All it'll do is make this all liquid and uh, mushy and you can't pipe with that at all. So this is great. It's great for your cakes. It's great for putting into your buttercream or into your fondant to make a nice colour that you choose. Here's a buttercream. I've got them into three little uh, containers here um, and I'm going to show you how I colour it. So I'm going to leave this one this sort of creamy white colour and, um, and then we've got these two and I'll use the blue and the pink. So I would normally get a cocktail stick because you can't overdo it with a cocktail stick so um, this is the pro gel one and it's a little bit more liquid than the sugar flare um, what I would do is I just squeeze it and take a little bit on the end of my cocktail stick that is a tiny amount but what we don't want to do is to make it too dark we can always add we can never take away so um, I just put that on the counter and we'll give this a bit of a mix if we haven't got enough in there we can always add more but if you want it darker you just add a little bit more of your color so then we'll move on to the pink So um, just to show you, we've got these lovely pastel colours going on here. So we've got a creamy colour, the greeny blue and the pinky colour. We're going to do some piping today. I've got two different nozzles here. This is very basic piping. So this one is a gem manufacturer, a gem 1M. And you can see it's got straight edges. This one again is a gem manufacturer and it's a 2D and that curves in. You can see that it curves in. For what we're going to do today, either is perfectly fine. I cut off some uh, strips of cling film. I've done made two already into little sausages. So I did the bluey green and I've done the creamy colour. Now I'm going to show you how I do it with the pink. So all we do is we lay this out onto our cling film. I'm just going to make it into a kind of sausage. Spread it out a little bit. I'll just wipe my fingers on my tissue. And um, so we make it into a sausage. So we just roll it over and down. 
make it into a, a sausage and just move your hands around spreading it out a bit so we've got a tail at one end and a tail at the other end of the cling film so now we have three and these will help us to make wonderful swirly colours so also the things that we will need I use a beaker or a glass um, and I'll show you how I use that we've got four cupcakes and I have got some in the wings as it were waiting we've got our three sausages of different icing and um, I've chosen this uh, nozzle and this is the 1M so we need to Oh, and a piping bag, of course. This is a nice thick piping bag. These are the sort I prefer. You can get thin ones, but they do have a tendency to split if you are pressing quite hard. They come in this blue. They also come in clear. I happen to have the blue ones. Um, and so we're going to put this nozzle into here. So what I do is usually I just have a quick look. So we need to cut it about here. I'll just take a pair of scissors and I'll cut it across if it's not wide enough obviously I can cut it again so just pop that in squish it down and it is wide enough and so the reason for the glass is what I usually do is I turn this back I pop the nozzle end in and open it up this is just to steady the whole of the bag so that when I pop the rest of it in I'm not fighting okay so this is what we've got I'm going to um, twist the one end and that's the end that will go in the top and these are the ends that will go in the bottom okay we're not going to twist those but what we are going to do we're going to cut them straight across okay so the end is ready to go I'm going to pop these in there I'll take them out out of my glass and I will move them further down and I'm just squishing them with my fingers to help to move the colors down okay so when you've moved them down and they're getting near to the end what we need to do is to wrap this round so it's nice and sturdy you hold the bag like this so you can turn it as you go as you use your buttercream so I'm going to go straight down now the first one I'm going to do is a swirl as in an ice cream type swirl you always hold your nozzle and your bag straight up not at an angle or you won't get it work to work the same so straight up and you twist it until the color starts to come so i'm going to see if i can i don't know if i can do this one-handed i usually use two we put the buttercream and press into the cake to start off with and you go round from the outside in okay so I've stopped there so you can see we're getting the colours through. I should put this down, I'll go back there and we just swirl. There we are. You do the opposite. You start in the middle, press down, I will have to use two hands, and you swirl it around. So you can always add extras, we're always into adding extras. And I'll get some sprinkles and show you the sorts of things that I might add. So here's our cupcakes, the before they were covered, and afterwards when we've done our swirls and our roses.